Hi yogis, today we're going to be doing chair yoga with blocks. So you're going to need two yoga blocks. If you don't have blocks, books work great, um, boxes as long as they're weight bearing. So if you have something in them that helps. As always, please modify your movements as needed, practicing ahimsa. So blocks or props, as discussed in previous videos, so they can be there to help us and they can also be there to challenge us. So we're going to be exploring both of those today. All right, setting up for pranayama, we're going to place our blocks flat. And we're going to have them so that way when our feet are on top of them, they're about two fists width wide. We're going to come away from the back edge of our chair so that way we can be sitting up tall and still engage our core so we're in active yoga practice. Hands can be just down by your side. Take a nice slow deep breath in. Exhale out through the mouth. Take a nice slow deep breath in. Exhale out through the mouth. Inhale, taking a body scan from your toes all the way to the crown of your head. Notice any areas of tension or stress. And again, using that knowledge to modify today during your practice. Exhale out any negative energy that you might be holding on through your day. Take a nice slow deep breath in, thinking three positive thoughts. Exhale. Taking your hands towards your shoulders and just brush off anything that you're holding. And just let go. Inhale, bring your arms up overhead. Take one hand down, arm reaches over. So that way we're not reaching out of our chair. We're going to take both sit bones, glutes, down towards our chair. So if you notice that your chair is leaning, knee, try and take those sit bones down. Inhale, bring the arm back up and we're going to switch over towards the other side. And making sure that you're not leaning towards the side, that your chair is staying flat on the floor. Both sit bones, glutes are rooted down. Inhale, come back up. Palms connect. Exhale, thumb to sternum. Taking the hands over towards one side of your chair, begin to twist towards that side. Looking over that shoulder. Deepening that twist. Notice if the knees try to knock towards each other. Imagine that there's a block in between the thighs. Keeping that alignment. Heel to knee, knee to hip. Exhale, release the head first and release the twist. Inhale, reach the arms up over. Palms connect, thumb to sternum. Switch other side. Hands on the opposite side. Rotate torso. Keeping your gaze towards the side or look over the shoulder. Deepening that twist. Try and keep those knees nice and parallel, so notice if one wants to knock in towards the other. Nice deep breath in. Exhale, release the head first and then the torso. Inhale, reach the arms on up. Palms connect, thumb to sternum. Repeating that same thing, or we're going to go for a variation to this round. We're going to take the elbow towards the outside of the thigh and twist. So twist and then fold forward. Staying here, adding a little balance challenge to it. See if you can hover that opposite foot a little bit off the block. For five, four, three, two, one. Release the foot back onto the block. Inhale, come back up towards the center. Switching over to the other side. Either rotating, first variation or second variation, elbow towards the outside edge of the thigh. Hovering there for five. Four, three, two, one, lower and lift. And now reach the arms up over, half sun salutation. We're going to fold over our blocks. And our legs, maybe we hold on to the outside of our blocks. We lean a little bit further. Forward. Uttanasana, standing forward bend. Find a little bit of length here through the spine, either bring the fingertips towards the top edge of your block, shins, or the thighs, and then exhale, fold over. Roll up vertebrae by vertebrae, planting down onto the blocks. Inhale, reach the arms up over, thumbs connect, 
towards the sternum. One more of those. Inhale, reach the arms up over. Exhale, fold forward. Come up halfway. Exhale, round. Roll up, vertebrae by vertebrae. Reach arms up overhead. Thumb to sternum as you exhale. You're going to bring one foot off the block and the next. We're going to take our blocks at their highest point, heel toe, heel toe, the feet back to parallel. And bringing the block's highest point to the outside edge of our feet. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, swan dive forward. Come up halfway using those blocks to find length and then fold forward. Taking one of those blocks in between our feet, we're going to open and twist towards the other side. Exhale, twisting over on the other side, hand towards the block. Exhale, release. Taking our blocks with us as we inhale and unravel our spine, arms up overhead. We're going to bring our blocks to touch as they come on down. Hugging our elbows towards our obliques. We're going to take our fingertips on the outside edge. So we're going to really feel our pectoralis major. So we're going to take our hands, more specifically our fingertips, and we're going to release our thumb first, still reaching our palms into the outside edge of the blocks. Pointer finger, middle finger, ring finger, and pinky finger. So all that's pressing into both of those blocks is the heel of our palms. We're going to hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, four, three, two, and one. Keep pressing them together. We're gonna do calf raises. Lift the heels and drop them down for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lifting one knee and the other. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, and one. Take our fingertips back around our blocks and release one down by our foot. We're gonna keep the other one. We're gonna lift our left knee up. We're gonna take our block to that left thigh. We're gonna connect our elbow on top of that block. And we're gonna hold and connect. Notice that our core all of a sudden is really engaged here and also our hip flexor. Now we're gonna hold for five. Flex that foot. Four, three, two, one, take that whole shape to the side, external rotation of the hip, and back towards the center. Ten, squeeze that elbow into the thigh, thigh into the elbow. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Same thing, other side. So we're gonna release our block down to the side, take our other block towards our thigh, lift that thigh, elbow meets the block, flex that foot. Again, notice that my block is vertical. We're connecting the two short ends of our block, holding here, pressing our thigh into the elbow, elbow into the thigh, Keeping that block there for five, four, three, two, one. Now taking it towards this side. Out and back in. Nine. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, and one. Release it on down. We're going to take one of those lovely blocks and we're going to place it right underneath where our foot would have been, placing our foot on top. We're going to extend our other leg and bring it on top to a figure four position. So this is going to be a little bit more challenging than the last figure four we did for our chair pose class. So if this isn't attainable for you right now, for today, you can always hook that foot behind the block and allow the knee to just turn out towards this side. Tuning into your body and what you feel that you are comfortable with today. It's not gonna cause you pain. So we should be feeling a stretch here and not pain. 
knee is reaching down towards the ground. I can stay upright holding onto the sides of my chair, or if you want a little more of a challenge, fold forward over that figure four shape. Find your breath. Nice, slow, deep breath in. And as we exhale, see if you can ground into that block on the floor with your foot. And see if you can exhale and reach that knee down deeper. Draw the shoulders away from the ears. If you're folding forward on your next inhalation, begin to unravel the spine. Wherever you are, extend the leg on out, and we'll repeat that whole sequence on the other side. Taking our block where our foot would have been, and again, variation one, just hook the foot behind the block and allow the knee to turn out, or coming into a figure four, cross it over, flex the foot. Knee reaching on down, sitting up as tall as you possibly can, or for an added challenge, folding over that shape. You should feel it on the outside of the hip. Wiggling the toes as we inhale and as we exhale, press that whole foot into the block and into the floor. Take that knee further down, relax shoulders. Another nice slow deep breath in. Nice slow deep breath out. If you're folding forward, unravel the spine. Wherever you are, extend the leg and reach it on down. Taking that block off towards this side. We're gonna turn one of our blocks flat and horizontal, perpendicular to our chair. And then we're gonna take our foot, we're gonna turn it out and place it on top of the block. We're gonna take our other leg and extend it out so that way we're in a variation of warrior two. Knee is going to be directly over the heel. So if you notice, my knee isn't directly over my heel, so I might have to modify and move my block. So that way it is. And then reach the arms on now. Find a nice deep breath in. And as we exhale, take the forearm to the top of the thigh, extended angle. Nice deep breath in. Nice deep breath out. Inhale, bring it back on up, warrior two. Flip that palm up over, reverse exalted warrior. Inhale back to that Virabhadrasana warrior two shape. And release the hands on down, bringing our feet back in. And changing to the other side. So take that block towards the back of the chair. And the other block, perpendicular and flat foot on top, extend the leg, notice what's going on with the knee, is it over the heel, do you need to adjust a little bit, so that way it can be, rolling that outside hip, toes slightly in, warrior two, other side, nice deep breath in, nice deep breath out, forearm to meet the thigh, Extended angle, arm comes up overhead. Pressing into that forearm, into the thigh. So pressing out of that lower shoulder. Nice deep breath in. As we exhale, come back to that warrior two shape we started with, flip the palm, exalted reverse warrior. Inhale back to that warrior two shape. And then use the hands to guide the legs back on in. Heel toe, heel toe if necessary. We're gonna take our chair and we're gonna turn it sideways. We're gonna take our one block and we're gonna place it on the floor. We're gonna place one of our feet on the block, about halfway on our block. And we're gonna allow the heel to come off of our block. We're gonna use our chair to help guide us we're going to take our other foot on top, towards the top edge of our block, to keep our block nice and level. And then allow that heel to hang off the edge. Holding here for five, four, three, two, and one. Release on down. Adding a little cardio to our chair practice today. We're going to take our whole foot onto our block. And then we're going to knee up towards the side of our chair. And then we're going to take our foot down and switch, switch, up. Down, down, up. Knee, down, down, up. Knee, down, down, up. Knee, down, down, up. Knee, down, down, up. 
knee, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, you're doing good, last one, and these both feet on down, we're going to switch over towards the other side, foot halfway on the block, heel comes down, transfer weight over on towards the chair, other foot to the front edge of the block, so that way you're keeping it nice and level, and then allow the other heel to just hang. Finding your breath here while we hold. on down. So the same thing that we did with our block, seated in our chair, connecting elbow to thigh, we're going to do um, into a half moon variation. We're going to take our block that's on our chair and we're going to put it at its highest point so that way we can use it in a little bit. We're going to take our foot that's closest towards the chair and we're going to turn it out. We're going to connect our, we're going to lift our butt, we're going to connect our elbow and our thigh once more. We're going to take that whole shape and we're going to lean over sideways. Woo, hopefully you're still with me. We're going to hold on to that block again. If you need to, we can put it on its side or at its front edge. And then from here, we're going to lift that foot and hold and squeeze for five. Maybe pulse it up four, three, two, and one. Lowering that whole shape, bringing our hand to release our block and switching over towards the other side. So taking our chair over, putting your block, whatever was helpful for you, maybe it was this highest edge, maybe it was flat or on its side. We're gonna turn out our foot closest towards our chair. We're going to lift our foot off the ground, connect our thigh with our elbow, and then we're going to fold that whole shape <laughs> with our torso leaning towards our chair and our hand coming onto that block. And then we're going to lift that back heel up and we're going to pulse it up for five, four, three, two, and one. Release that whole shape. Taking the knee towards the other knee, releasing your block. We're going to keep our chair to this side. We're going to take our blocks down onto the ground. And us two are going to come down towards the ground. Our hip is going to go towards our chair. Our feet are going to spin and they're going to come onto the seat of our chair. And we're going to have them off towards the side of our hips so that way we can easily get to them. We're going to make sure that our hands can still be planted down onto the ground. We're going to plant our feet down onto the seat of the chair. We're going to lift up into bridge pose. So we're going to press on down and lift the hips on up. That might be a lot. That might be a little bit. And then exhale, roll back down vertebrae by vertebrae. It's a gentle inversion. We're going to do that two more times. Inhale, lift. Try and keep the knees nice and parallel. Exhale, fold on down. With our last one, we're going to take one of our blocks. We're going to place it in between the thighs. Inhale, lift. Squeeze that block and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Lower back, down vertebrae by vertebrae. Release the block off towards the side. We're going to extend one leg straight and we're going to reach our hands towards our blocks. And we want to move our hands so that way when we lift up our shoulders, our fingertips are just barely touching the top of our block and then come back down. So we're going to be doing some abdominal work now. So we're going to lift up for 10, tap the block. Two, three, <laughs> four. Five, six, seven, eight, 
nine and ten. Switch other side, straighten the leg and tap the block. One, two, three, four. A little bit of space in between the chin and the chest. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Plant the feet on down. Coming into Shavasana, we're staying into waterfall pose. I want to make sure that our hips are in line with our knee and our whole back and hips are on the floor. So if you're still in kind of like a bridge pose, just where you are in relationship to the chair. Have the eyes open or you can have them closed. A nice slow deep breath in. Nice slow deep breath out. Nice slow deep breath in. Nice slow deep breath out. Relaxing all the muscles in the face. Maybe we're wiggling the jaw from side to side. Shoulders away from ears. Upper and lower arms relaxed. All ten fingers relaxed. Torso. Vertebra of the spine relax, hips, upper and lower legs relax, and all ten toes. The whole right side of the body relax, the whole left side of the body relaxed, allowing the whole body to relax. If the eyes are closed, gently blinking the eyes open. Free movement back to the body by wiggling fingers and toes. Hugging one knee and the other in towards the chest. And just rock the knees from side to side, massaging out the hips and the lower back. And then folding over onto the side of your choice. Taking this time to adjust, to wake up. And pressing into the earth to come up to a comfortable seat. Coming to a comfortable seat. That could be seated on the ground or on the chair. Inhale, arms up overhead. Palms connect. Thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of your yoga practice. The light in me honors that positive light within each and every one of you. Namaste. Thank you.